how to track emails in Google Analytics the right way. So recently we hired Google consultant, a Google agency who running our like paid ads and what they discovered and what they showed me that we are uh, the way we are tracking uh, email performance in Google Analytics is not the right way. I'll show you how to make simple changes, but you will have bridge data for emails in your Google Analytics. And also I'll give you a few tips on what to change in the Google Analytics or actually the way how you sending data to Google Analytics to help you out. So first let's go to Google Analytics. This is our Google Analytics. So basically we go to acquisition overview. And as you can see, there's at this moment, we have seven different channels that we're tracking. And the problem with emails, it goes to, instead of going to email, it goes to others. And as you understand, it's not the best way to get your data because for example, this one, so medium source medium. And as you can see, this Clavio, Clavio is a platform, email marketing platform that we use. And as you can see, instead of having a medium as email, it has flow, which is automation and campaign as a newsletter promo campaign. So what our job is to change that campaign and flow to email and email. And same thing applies to other sources. You see YouTube, 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 podcast, description, profile. So the medium is not uh, provided correctly. So there's two way to do it. Just leave it blank for medium and Google will automatically apply it since Google owns YouTube, they know how to do it. Or if you want, you can put social instead. So it should be YouTube, social, and that medium campaign It can be profile, description, podcast, and so forth. And this way you will have less data in the other channel. The goal is to have almost zero other channels. Why? Because other, you don't know where it's coming from. So you want this to be close to zero or nothing. Everything else should be divided into seven categories or even maybe more you, know, you can customly set up. So how can we do it inside of, uh, in our case, in Clavio, for example. So I go to Clavio, this is our Clavio account. The easiest way to do it is just to, it's easier to find. You click on, you see UTM tracking, you click there, you said learn more and you do configure configure and you do account setting. So this was one way to enter the UTM settings. And the, another one is account uh, settings and uh, UTM tracking. So it doesn't matter how you enter, but this is two ways how to enter it. Okay. So UTM source Clavio is perfect. So there's no, nothing wrong with this. Where we have a problem, it's, it says campaign flow. Uh, so campaign value, flow value. So here we need to change it to what? To email and email. So this way it will be following the right breakdown in Google Analytics. So I click update and yeah, of course you can change the, the rest. Uh, UTM campaign, UTM ID, UTM term, like you want to turn it off, turn it on, that's, that's up to you. But the most important source, Clavio, medium, email. Same thing uh, applies for any other sources. Uh, follow us for more helpful videos, as those useful tips and actionable tutorials that you can implement right away. And if you have any additional questions, please let me know under this video. Thank you.